what's up guys it's newman here and you're welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use this app the meta trader 5 app okay so we open it here now if you are looking if you don't already have the app and you're looking to install it you won't be able to get it from the app store because it has been removed okay so i have a video on how to install download and install metatrader 5 on your iphone after it has been banned i'll leave the link in the description below so for today's video i'll just be showing you how to use how to go about the metatrader 5 app and all of that okay so without wasting much time let's go straight into it so this tab here where i'm in is the codes okay this is where you have all the currency pairs aligned you have the usd chf you have gbp usd like some when you first in login i'm going to have some of these currency pairs here by default but in case if you are you want to find a particular one you just come to the search bar at the top and then you search let's see you okay so euro gbp then you just tap on it here sorry you tap on the plus icon right here okay and then it will be added it will be added to your codes here i think we have it here below yes or in case you want to trade any other commodities we have the forex market where you have every currency pair that you want to trade and you have the metals where you have gold and all these other things we have indices we have commodities energies what have you okay so it depends on what you trade or what you want to trade yeah you can also remove a particular pair or currency depending on your own preference you just slide and then you delete okay so that's it for the quotes and then we move on to the next section which is the chart section now this is where you do all your technical analysis and all you know you know all of that this is where you read the charts and determine the movement of the market and all of that okay so it's in this area that most of the work is put in uh, when you come to the top left corner where you have the m5 it talks about the time zone or it displays the various time zones so the m1 talks about the one minute time frame the m5 is the five minute time frame and then 15 minutes then we have the one hour time frame okay we have up to the day the week and the monthly time frame all right so this is where you can change your time frame let me change it back to there and then at the at this side where you find the ships something looking like ships here yes it's called the object area this is where you can draw your various trend lines okay for your analysis and all of that yes this is where you have that you have more objects here when you tap on the add objects so as you can see we have the trend line vertical lines and all of that the gun line the fibonacci and all of those things they are all here okay so this way you can find the tools the objects to work with um if you in case you want to delete say i want to delete this trend line you just press and hold on it and then you can easily delete and um, when you tap on the f function here this for adding extra windows okay so basically yeah you have to the top right corner here here you can easily place a trade right off the bat you can place a trade here we have the buy and then the sell you can also use the one looking like the clock okay this one here it's also for setting your stop loss and your take profits so you have it down below 
but I won't be doing any of that for now. So basically, this is where you do all your analysis. Then the next section, which is the trade area, is where you see all your current trades that are running. As you can see, I have placed a few trades. I just did it randomly. Okay, so most of them are running in a loss. Some two are running in profit. When you see it's looking blue here, it goes to show that it's profit. And then when you see the red, it is the loss. And over at this side, you can find your balance, equity, margin, and all of that. So this is where you do your calculations. Okay, if you, in case you want to, maybe someone sends you signal and then you want to place a trade, you come to the plus at the top here. And then you see this side, this arrow over here. You just tap on it. You have instant execution. You just press here and then you go for the various market prices. You set your stop loss and take profit and all of that. You have the buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, and so on. So depending on the kind of signal that has been sent to you, I'll be making a video on how to place forex signals okay or how to input signals into your mentor trader 5 so stay tuned be sure to follow and subscribe to my channel now this next part is called the history this way obviously shows you all the trades that you've placed in the past as you can see i have one here okay that's gbp chf so the orders the deals just basically tells you what you traded on the account before or in time pass all right then the last section which is the settings this is where you select your account now when you create the meta trader 5 you automatically or um the app gives you a demo account okay so if i tap on the top here you can see I have demo account. I have my actual trading account which I use and all of that. But for the purpose of the video, I'm using a demo account. So here we have if you want to add a new account, grab this is where you do. Okay. Uh, we also have the mailbox to check for any notifications and all of that. You have the news, you have the chat and message community. When you tap on this, you'll be going to it will take you to Safari, okay, where you can get involved with other people using MetaTrader 5 online. So basically, that is what the settings you can you also come to the chat tab. You can change it from candlesticks to the line chat to the bar chat depending on your own preference. You can make a few color adjustments over here too. I prefer it to be on the candlestick. Yeah, guys, so that's basically it how to go about or what the MetaTrader 5 app is all about. Okay, this is how it looks like. There's more to learn for beginners, there's a lot to learn, especially in this area, the chat area. More videos will be coming on. I'll be I'll be making more videos. Okay, so Remember to st stay tuned, subscribe to my channel so that you can understand and follow on. Okay, so that will be all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, okay? And then hit on the bell notification icon to always get notified when I drop a new video. Thank you guys for watching.